Hold on, I'm having a camera problem. Good morning. Good morning. A couple of weeks ago, I came on here and um, shared with you about the beginning of a health journey for me. And um, that was almost three weeks ago. And um, so today is about encouragement. Today is about an update. But today is about things I'm learning along the way because I've learned a lot of things over time, but so many of them were temporary fixes. Uh, so many of them were crash ways to improve. But those crash ways and those temporary fixes are just what they, they sound like, a crash and they're temporary. And so this journey has become different for me. And um, I'm creating new habits that I want to live with for a very long time to improve my health. Yes, did I want to get some weight off? I do. I, I did, and I do, but um, but if you're like me, and you've done this a hundred times in a hundred different ways, and you haven't kept it off, you've done the yo-yo, um, the up and down, the, you know, the roller coaster ride of, of weight and health, well, I'm your girl, because I have been there over and over and over, and so I want to tell you some things that are Real, that I'm learning and that are really, really, really working for me, okay? First of all, I want to tell you that this has to be a prayer journey. Now, if you're not a person who prays, this would be a fabulous place to start. I'm, I'm not praying for weight loss. Don't misunderstand this. I'm praying that God would give me strength to do what's healthy for me, give me strength to do what's good for me, give me strength to... Um, to be able to serve him. I want to feel good. In the process, I'm, I, I will tell you, I'm losing weight, but I've changed my prayers. And so I pray. And I ask God, and I am grateful when I have a good day. And there have been three weeks of good days for the month. Yeah, actually, three weeks um, that I say thank you. Thank you for doing what I could not do by myself. So I pray. I ask for help and for the strength, the self-control, which is a fruit of the spirit, self-control, to do what's good for me, okay? In the face of cookies and candy and junk, that's not good for me, okay? But then I remember to thank him. I live with an attitude of gratitude, okay? So the next thing I have found, it, it's got to be intentional. Now, what are some intentional things I'm doing that are helping me? Well, on an app, you can use, I mean, you can choose any app. There's a, um, oh, my fitness pal. I like what I eat because it keeps me thinking I'm accountable. When I eat, I stop to think, well, I got to log this and it needs to fit in the plan. And that's big. So I've been intentional about logging that daily. And you say, Gina, I don't have time for that. It takes me literally about a minute to log each meal and it's worth it to me because the intention of doing that has really really helped me okay the second thing that's very intentional is i i have a little journal and i happen to have gotten this in the mail and it is perfectly timed i think god sent it my way it's perfectly timed because each week it says what are your intentions this week what are you doing and so all i do i keep it very simple but at night or late at night when I'm tired or early in the morning, I grab that journal and I write down, what do I weigh today? How do I feel today? What good health choices have I made? And, and I don't write a lot every day. Some days I write nothing, but, but maybe good day. And then other days I write, hey, today I walked away from the dessert table. Or today I made choices, um, choice not to blow it at lunch, even though I didn't have lunch with me at work. I made a good choice, um, you know, and, and so that's been intentional for me because I love going to the journal and seeing my journey in my handwriting. This morning, I was able to write, you know, I'm, I'm making progress. I am making progress from where I was three weeks ago to today. And I'm feeling better. But now, let me tell you this. Part of intentionality with health and wellness and weight loss is honesty. You know, Thursday night, 
I didn't sleep, not even in the ballpark of sleeping enough. And I know that's part of my wellness journey. So I write that down. Messed up. You know, I, I take some medicine that I've been taking for years that helps me stay asleep. I can go to sleep, but I don't stay asleep. Forgot to take my medicine, went to sleep without it. The rest of the night was a wash. So I was weary Friday. That's not good for health and wellness. And so I wrote that down honestly. Okay, tell the truth. Um, so I'm being intentional about what my journey has looked like. So I can look back over it and see what's helping, what's working, what's maybe not working. Okay. Um, another thing you have to be intentional about is if you're going to be more healthy and, and if your goal is some weight loss, maybe yours is not just health, it's weight loss. Maybe it's just health. I don't know your story, but for me, it's both. Um, and, but I've got to be intentional about shopping. And for me, I'm intentional about giving my husband a shopping list. If I'm so busy at work that I can't, and he is so good to do what I ask. I came home one day this week. I had sent the text, please go to the store and get me these things. And I came home to grapes and bananas and two kinds of apples and um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts and, and um, uh, salad ingredients. And I was so excited. Because he did that for me. But I had to be intentional enough to ask him, you're not working today. I am. Could you do this for me? And he did. He did. Um, and so intentionality is huge. It's huge. <clears throat> Another thing that has happened for me, and I know it's a God thing. I am. I have poorly eaten for such a long time. Just so many bad habits. Um that I've been amazed that during this three-week journey, God has helped me focus more on other things and not the food. Because I think that's been one of my problems that I wasn't clearly recognizing is that I was making food way too important. It's about family. It's about um, sitting down over a dinner with your spouse or your friend or your child or whatever it is. But I made it about the food, not about the moment. And so God has really helped me refocus my mind. You know, the Bible says we can renew our minds daily. And so um, I renewed my mind about the urgency of food. I don't have to have mashed potatoes and gravy to be happy. It's not true. It's not true because my discouragement with not feeling good and not having the right amount of energy and watching my weight climb it is, is, trust me, it's not near as good as focusing on who I'm with or what good choices I've made for me. My church is focusing on loving your neighbor. But when Jesus was asked about that, he said, the commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. We have to love ourselves, not in a prideful way, not in a vain way, not in it's all about me, but in a way that says, I care about this body. This is the one God gave me, the only one I've got. And as best as, as, best I can, I'm going to make choices to take care of my body. One of the things I've done that's intentional is putting this out there with you all because it's kind of helping me become accountable. I put it out there. And so I've got to be accountable. I want to tell you as I get ready to close, sometimes we find ourselves in a situation that the, um, the healthy choice isn't as healthy as we might choose. My doctor had encouraged me to stick with lean meats and fruits and vegetables. And um, I'm also having some whole grains, like steel cut oats and things like that, okay, that I love. Um, well, last, yesterday afternoon late, we had been doing a little antique shopping, Dan and I, and there's a restaurant in Conway that if you go in during the happy hour times, you can get a fabulous um, choice of appetizers that are very expensive, and the one we've wanted to try is their hamburger because we've heard glowing things 
and it's five dollars okay so i looked at my husband and i said i think it's time we tried the five dollar burger now i hadn't had beef in three weeks y'all so i i said I, let's let's do it we're downtown it's cheap i'll pay for your dinner but let's go have the five dollar burger we won't have to cook tonight we can relax do some other things so we did but even in that moment and by the way thank you Crooked Oak, that was one of the best hamburgers I've ever tasted in my life. But you know what I did? I made it as healthy as I could. They put it on a bed of lettuce and tomatoes and with the best pickle. It was, oh my goodness. My husband said it had to be Clausen's. It was the best pickle. And, and I ate every drop of it. It was incredible. I didn't eat a bone. So I took might be considered, you know, well, my doctor had said, stay away from the red meats. I've done it for three weeks. I gave myself a hamburger last night, but no bun and no fries. And I brought the fries home and gave them away. So why, why do I say that? Because sometimes we have to go out and do things and we have to work around that. And we can, we can work around things and make choices. Then I got to tell you, in the past, I would not have made. I would have eaten every French fry first because they're my favorite. But last night, I said, you know, no, I'll give myself the burger. I'm just not giving myself the fries and the bun. And it was absolutely delicious. I think, honestly, without the bun, I could taste the flavor of the meat. And it was as good a hamburger as I've ever had. Thank you. Thank you. Cook it up. It was delicious. So if you're on this journey with me, please let me be encouraging to you. This is a matter of um, learning to think differently, to renew your mind daily, to ask God for strength and self-control that only the Holy Spirit can give because I don't have it, but he has it. And he helps us to be what we're incapable of being by ourselves. So this for me is becoming a spiritual journey of wellness and health. Yes, some weight loss, nothing dr nothing drastic, but some so that I feel better, so that my body feels better in its own skin. This is the body he gave me. It's the body he gave you. Take care of it. Fill it with water. Fill it with healthy choice foods, and you will see a difference and feel a difference. Thank you for, for being with me today. I will see you again maybe next week, maybe in two weeks. We'll see how the journey goes. Thanks a lot.